All right, so now, uh, to Jim's delight in the audience, it is now time to uh, concentrate on perhaps our most interesting entry of the night, the Atomos Ninja. Ninja, coming from the Japanese word from assassin. Atomos, coming from the Greek word for atom. Atom, uh, building blocks of nature. Now, an essential kit for your high definition production. Check this out. We're going to open this kit up. I'm sure there's a camera on me. All right, here we go. For $9.95, you don't just get the Atomos Ninja, you get this entire kit. And what comes in the kit? Well, one, Atomos Ninja. Perfect. Two, Atomos Ninja batteries. Now, these are made by Atomos. They're OEM'd by Sony, which means you could get NPF 970s if you wanted. But um, these guys have a slightly higher milliamp output, which will run a little bit longer for you. So I recommend the first party batteries. It comes with a battery charger, a dual battery charger. All right. It comes with all of the cables that you'll need. Uh, a power supply for the device if you wanted to run it off of AC, the charger, and drive caddies. A drive caddy, that's, that's this. It comes with two drive caddies. Why is there a drive caddy? Well, that's because it doesn't come with a hard drive. What does it come with? It comes with two drive caddies that allow you to insert, check this out, your own three and a half inch hard drive. Now, any hard drive will do. Any hard drive will do. Uh, what a lot of people have been using is this Western Digital. Here it is. It's a Western Digital Scorpio. 500 gig drive, 3.5 inch, so it fits right in the caddy. It is an eSATA drive. You see the eSATA connections on it. And it's like 90 bucks. It's like 90 bucks and you can get anywhere. So for 9.95, you get the case, you get the Ninja, you get two caddies, you get the batteries and everything. All you got to add is your own hard drive. Very inexpensive, another 100 bucks for the project, so you're talking $1,100 for a complete system. How are you going to get the footage into your computer? Well, it comes with a little shoe for the caddy. So I could take my drive, slip it into the shoe as such, wham, and then I connect via USB or via FireWire 800. Now this USB, you notice that it's blue there. Something special about blue USB, they should call it blue USB. 3.0, so if you're on a Windows machine that has 3.0 USB, blazing fast speeds. Uh, it, no Thunderbolt yet, no Thunderbolt yet, but FireWire 800, pretty good, not bad, right? FireWire 800? All right, enough about that. Let's look at the Ninja itself because it's so freaking cool, you're not gonna believe it. Another entrant that has the built-in monitor. Let's power it up. This monitor, just like our favorite iPads and iPhones, touch screen, touch screen. And uh, how could that be? Well. The designer of the Atomos Ninja is none other than Ian from Apple. Ian from Apple, who is on the design team for the iPhone 4. Pretty awesome. I believe he's, I believe Ian is the CEO of the company. And then uh, Jeremy, Jeremy from Black Magic, used to be from Black Magic, now he's at Atomos. So you can tell that we've got uh, some guys who have been around who know how to design a product. Um, Blackmagic and Apple design team specialists on this Atomos Ninja. So let's take a look, shall we? Um, it's a touch screen. Right now it's got no input, but you could have an HDMI input. Now it's missing the HDMI loop through. You can't have an output, but uh, you can't have everything for $9.95, right? Check, the, check out what you do have. Uh, ProRes HQ, ProRes 422, or ProRes Lite. Now all of those codecs are built in. You don't have to buy the $125 upgrade like, like the other one, which is cool. Um, the other one's got the HDMI output, maybe that balances it out. The menu system is very simple. This is the kind of stuff that you'll set once and forget because you don't really have to change it. It's auto-sensing input. Anything that fits that HDMI spec, right? So 1080, 1920, um, 50i, 60i, 1080, 24p. The only thing you're really missing in that HDMI spec is 720, 24p, right? But if you're coming out of a Panasonic camera anyway, it doesn't matter because they use pull-down. Even if you're setting the camera to 720, 24p, it's still coming out 60p. No big deal. This is also a playback device, so I could hit play. Uh, and let's go, guys. Play back my clips. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Uh, additionally, you can tell how much, you can either format your drive or see how much space you have left on your drive on this simple menu. The, the menu system is not deep at all. It's so simple, so like easy to go. You just hit this record button when you've got an HDMI source and you're on. Pretty awesome. Uh, at this point, I'm going to turn it to Debbie, who's got a question coming in from the internet. Well, I just want you to know that Adam and Fake Verge are stealing your thunder on the on the uh, chat room. They're answering all the questions. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Before we have a chance to give them out to well, you. Well, you know what you can't do in the chat room? 
show pictures. So <laughs> my <I> friends <laughs> in the chat room, ask away. My friends who are more interested in the touch screen, check okay, it out right I here. I want to ask right you here. a few things. Adam uh, Ninja. Can you record with a Canon EOS 7D? You can record with a Canon EOS 7D. Now listen, this is not Adam Ninja's fault. This is Canon's fault. The, the signal coming out of an HDMI of a 7D, of a 5D, of a 60D, of whatever, is polluted. It gives you the, the red dot up in the top right corner. It might give you a, a square for a focus line. You know, these, these DSLR cameras, as beautiful as they are, as excellent tools as they are, they are not made for professional monitoring or external recording. They're not. So yeah, you could connect it up, but you're not going to be happy with the result. Next. iMovie? iMovie, yes. ProRes 422. If iMovie takes ProRes, the Atomos Ninja makes ProRes, you guys are going to have a great time together, I promise. It's got a quarter 20 on the top and a quarter 20 on the bottom. So you can take our friend Takuma-san's AS7 and thread the uh, quarter 20 arm from the bottom like this, or you could hang it from the top like that. Why does it have two batteries on the back? That's a dual battery system so that when the first one goes, the second one is ready. So you can have countless hours of endless recording, endless recording. With a 500 gig drive, ProRes 422 Lite is like phew, all day, man, all day. <laughs> How many is that in minutes? All right. Uh, are we happy on the Atomos Ninja? I'm happy. There, oh, just, just to remind you, this is really important. Can we get the graphic back up, Virg? It's $9.95. You get the Atomos Ninja, its batteries, its charger, its touch screen interface, two spare caddies, and the caddy interface so that you can go uh, USB 3.0 into your blazing fast editing systems.